We don't want to call it a shortcut, but there is a clear path to becoming a hero. Volunteer to do a tough job. Saving lives and property by fighting fires can certainly be heroic. Now consider that for many of us, we rely on our volunteer fire departments to do that job. Tonight, we salute members of the fire service in Pulaski County and spotlight some of what they need to keep us safe. Firefighting is inherently dangerous. It doesn't discriminate between paid and volunteer. A point hammered home at the Firefighters Memorial in Little Rock. Chief Dalton Shannon and Captain Jordan Morris took time out during the busy dry season. Uh, the continued dry out has been a uh, difficulty for a lot of us. Um, we provide coverage out of one station, uh, one engine, one truck company, a tanker, and a command vehicle. Morris and Shannon lead the charge when calls come into any of the 19 volunteer fire departments across and around Pulaski County. There's an obvious difference between the city professional fire departments and what these guys and gals do. They all serve the public, but pros get paid, and the demands vary when the crews aren't standing by in a station. Members get pages in the middle of the night or in the middle of the day. They respond to their stations, get on a piece of equipment, and respond to that call. But the cost of that equipment they get on is the same in Little Rock or Oak Grove, and right now it's expensive. Pricing a new fire truck, we're looking at between $600 and $750,000 for a new fire engine. Uh, just to outfit an individual firefighter can range anywhere from $2,500 to $4,500 a firefighter. And that means sometimes the heroes of your local volunteer service are the ones finding the funds for the equipment in between fighting fires. We typically have firefighters that have gained experience solely for the purpose of obtaining funds for the fire department. Myself uh, included <laughs> uh, began writing grants because of the necessity for the fire department. We have to apply for those. We have to go out and find those. But whether it's behind a desk or behind a hose, there's a sense of service to what these men and women do. The County Firefighters Association recently honored two lifelong volunteers. It's not unlike the spirit that moves some to join the military. You have a lot of type A personalities. You've got to have that type of person that is willing to go towards the danger, that's willing to take action when it's needed. It's that giving back, it's the sense of community, and I think that's what draws a lot of firemen. It's not just me, it's not just Crystal Fire Department, but all of our 17 departments in this county, is it's that giving back. It's that sense that even for a moment, we made a difference in somebody's life on their worst day. We should mention that volunteers do get some benefits, even though there is not a paycheck all the time. There's cutting edge training and insurance benefits that are available. Recruiting is a challenge, but folks like Dalton and Morris would be happy to chat with you if you are interested. Links are going to be available in the digital version of this story, uh, the Saluting Heroes section of our website. It should be up a little bit later on this evening. You can find uh, that with the link on your screen, or if you just find Saluting Heroes link at the top of our homepage. And if you know a group of people doing everyday heroic work in your community, let me know. Links to my social media feeds are also in these stories. With this $1,000 check, Rainwater Holt Sexton salutes the Pulaski County Volunteer Firefighters Association and give you our thanks. Thank you, sir. On behalf of all the fire departments in Pulaski County, we appreciate it.